The 5C collet is probably the most common way you'll hold parts on your CL1 lathe. And they're a great way to grip small diameter bar stock on ST lathes as well. You can change your setup quickly and easily since there are a wide variety of sizes available and used correctly, they make for very repeatable setups. But it's important to understand what the limitations of the 5C collet are as well. Here are a few things to consider. A one inch collet can be adjusted to grip material ranging from one inch down to about 63-64 or .984 inches. The collets are available in 1 64th of an inch and one millimeter size increments. Use this same range to match your collets to whatever diameter material you're cutting. If you choose a collet to diameter match that's outside of this range, your part will not be properly held. In other words, you need the properly sized collet. And when it comes time to adjust the collet on your CL1 to properly grip your material, here's an easy way to do it. Rotate the knurled knob to tighten the collet until the point where the system won't clamp. You'll know it's not fully clamped because the lever won't reach full travel. Next, loosen the knob one to two clicks at a time until the system will clamp again with a firm closing sound. This ensures you've got the maximum holding force from the system. Once the draw tube is adjusted, the stroke of the collet closer can only accommodate two to three thou of variation in material size. If your stock varies any more than this, you will not be able to clamp without making an adjustment for every part. There are many factors that affect the clamp force on a part. For example, hot rolled material will be gripped more securely than a pickled, oiled, and ground bar. Also, coolant and cutting fluids with a high degree of lubricity can reduce the holding power at the collet. Depending on the material's finish and slipperiness, a collet with a serrated grip surface can grip more securely than one that's smooth. Take these characteristics into consideration when choosing your work holding. On the CL1, bar width is minimized by engaging the bar stock at the back end of this conical live center. Though uncommon, if you're having issues with bar whip and pushback during cutting, then you may need to dress the end of your bars with a 60 degree angle to match that on the conical center. And if you're using a 5C collet in a regular lathe, you must have a properly sized spindle liner. If the tail end of the bar whips inside the spindle, it will loosen the workpiece in the collet and slide back under the load of the cut. You'll know this is happening if your parts are coming out too short. In summary, 5C collets are a great way to hold parts and they're universally available. But be sure to understand and work within their limits when you're using them. Thanks for watching. Thank you.